Cheers. This is Dizzy. Uh, lovely. Lovely little Bedlington Terrier, aren't you? Hey, you're a belter. Right, I'm back. So what I've got is I've got three lots of lettuce here. These are Marvel of Four Seasons. I've then got uh, All Year Round. And I've got Winter Imperial. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use one of these multi-cell trays and I'll, I'll probably do, because of the, the layout of this tray, I'll, I'll do eight, eight of each and uh, I can pot some more on into some more tray. I've got some more trays over there that I can use so I could put some more in there especially with, with these because as the name suggests with the Winter Imperial they're more of a, a winter variety well, autumn, winter. Uh, same with all year round and marvel of four seasons. They've got quite a quite a long growing period, so we'll give them. We're gonna get and put them on ready to be put round on the plot. I'm going to use a bit of bit of compost. Now this is the little bit of a bit of a story with the compost. Uh, if you remember. Um, couple of videos back I said about I'd found a new supply of clover compost and they were the they were I think they were the big 75 litre bags and so on well yes that's right I did it's it's a farm shop um, that I'd found them at and uh, about two oh, beginning of this week today's Thursday so it was, it was, I think it was Sunday or Monday of this week. Went to go to get a couple of bags of this compost. Got to this farm shop. I couldn't see any about, so I was a bit, hmm. That, that sort of made me, that stopped me in my tracks. And uh, it turns out they've stopped selling it. They've reached a, a time of year where they don't bother they don't bother selling it anymore so I suppose really lessons learnt there when I saw it I should have bought it but still so what I did I went to a garden centre that's not too far from there and um, as is my want at trying different things and so on I bought some Leventons multi-purpose compost um, and it's it it's got added John in this for seed sowing it definitely needs sieving and to be perfectly honest I'm going to sieve it now for potting these on because with them being so small and the fact that I'm using multi-cell trays um, there's there's bits in this I don't know whether you can see but see there's like I don't know whether you'd best describe it as there's there's odd little little stones and there's like bits of um, it looks like wall type stuff or something. But anyway, um, I'm going to sieve it and I'm going to use that in the seed trays. So we'll get that job done and get these lettuce potted up. Right. 
Right, let's get some of this. When I sieve any compost like this, I've got a little container just outside the door here that I put the this that's come out now I'll put that into this little container that I've got here and then what I do is I take that round to the allotment and either put that onto one of the one of the beds or put it into one of my compost bins so that it uh, it doesn't go to waste. As I say, with regards to the uh, I think there might be enough there. Yeah, I think that's that's going to do me, I think. As I say, with regards to that clover compost, um, it serves, serves me right, really. I should have... Uh, I should have got it when I saw it. Um, I, I have been trying different varieties throughout the year. Um, mixed results as you would expect but uh, I do like the clover um, when I was very very late a um, bit of a late convert to it to be honest um, but I've tried I've tried as I say various different varieties So I think that will do us. Don't want to firm that down too much. Okay, so we'll turn turn that that way round and wipe that off. And what have we got here? All year round. So we'll put some of those in there. I won't bother boring you with what I'm, in fact, well, I'll just get these out. Let's have a look at the, the root structure on these. Looking at the bottom of the pot, they look good. Oh yeah, that's, I mean, that's to be expected at this, what, probably 60, probably about, I don't know, 50 or 60 seeds gone in there. Uh, they were sown, by the way, the 10th of August. As I say, today is the 27th, so they've grown quite well. So I'll get and split these up, put them in. Uh, I'll do the others, and I'll bring you back when we're all finished. And there we have it. That's those potted up. We've got all year round, Marvel of Four Seasons, and Winter Imperial. I'm going to put a few more into another one of these trays. This will now, I've just put this into a solid tray to uh, make it easier to carry. It's going to be put outside. It's just, I don't know whether you can actually hear it. No, that's a train, no. Uh, <laughs> it's just started to rain again. Uh, so I'm going to put these outside. I was going to give them a, just a quick uh, soak in um, a bath of water, but I'm just going to put them outside and uh, let the rain do the work. So that's it. That's some more lettuce ready, potted on. And in a few weeks' time, they will go out onto the plot. Uh, I'm out in the back garden here. And uh, I'm going to take a look at uh, the strawberry runners, see uh, how things are, are progressing there. So uh, I'll show you what's, uh, what's going on. As you can see, strawberries 
doing quite well there's still this flowers come in this this strawberries to be had there's another one I can see at the back there I don't think you can quite see that but we are still getting as you can see still getting uh, strawberries coming and as you know with regards to runners I have put them trained them into these pots and it's got to be about oh, a month ago now and there's just the odd in fact let's just have a look see if we can yeah then you just see odd roots just starting to come through so what we'll do with those now is just cut that off and there we have a self-contained plant ready for next year we'll have a look see if there's any more let's, let's look along ah there we go now you probably can't see but you can see a lot of root on there so cut that off see see the the root structure coming well that could in fact that could be potted on and um, when I place these into these pots the runners I train them and held them in place with little clips like that just so it held the runner into the pot to help it take root so they can be removed as well and um, We've got quite a few actually now. As I say, it's about a month since I did these. But they will now be put... Let's have a look. They'll cut that one. There's another little clip there. Just little, like a staple really. Just to help push the run it in the roots aren't quite coming through on those but these now will they'll stay in the garden now and uh, I'll look at potting them up into some larger pots so that I can do like I've got these here in this veg truck uh, I can then put these into some larger pots and have them down the garden somewhere so we've got some more plants for next year well you join me in the greenhouse as you can probably see over my shoulder things are starting to come to an end ie cucumbers and tomatoes I've got tomato plants in here now that are bare of tomatoes so they're gonna come out let me just whiz you give you a quick there's a few few tomatoes there that we can we can have uh, a cucumber there to take but in basically it's just there's a very little little cherry one there but all these they've got nothing on them all come to an end so I'm gonna have a bit of a sort out cut some of this foliage back and take some of these tomato plants and cucumber plants out of here strip it all back bare right what I'm doing fairly fairly self-explanatory really uh, I'm taking these fasteners off this this has been really good stuff this this velcro it's um, comes in pack like that I bought this from a garden centre near me that is now it's now changed well earlier this year it changed uh, I think it was a Y Vale and it's now um, uh, British Garden Centres um, and it's good stuff and he, even this packaging is uh, made from recyclable recycled plastic and is in itself recyclable says so, so there says 
packaging is so that's good but yeah um taking taking all these off uh, i'm going to cut these back and then just take them out and uh, well there we go that's sort of collapsed on its own now taking that out of there so uh, yeah we'll get and cut these all out take them all to bits because there's just absolutely no tomatoes there's none on this none on that one that one's bare the ones at the back are bare there's only there's only uh, that one that one the far corner there it's got a few up on the top so uh, we'll crack on and get this lot all stripped out right as you can no doubt uh, see around me i've uh, got everything all more or less all cleared in this greenhouse you've just seen that clip there of me starting in the green greenhouse uh, i decided to do this one first more or less as soon as i had done that i thought now let's get that there's more in here to clear so um i've decided to get and uh, clear this lot all out uh, i'll show you i'll spin you around and show you here um i noticed that this had fallen over as i cleared the tomatoes that were around it and the cucumber the mini munch that was in the far corner i noticed this had literally dropped and double back on itself so i've lashed up a little bit of a framework here and uh, gonna leave them there just to ripen up that one i'm gonna get out i was gonna leave that but i'm gonna get that out and then what will happen with all of this is there'll be all the buckets will come out They'll go around the allotment, they'll be put onto various beds to help condition the soil around there. This greenhouse will then be washed down with hot water with some jay's fluid in it and some bleach. I'll do all of it inside and out. I shall do the same again actually before I start growing stuff in it the beginning of next year anyway um, I always do that always wash it down um, and then this will be down I'll show you down here along there will go my big coal frame that I've got um, that'll go back in there so that um, I can start and grow things on in there early part of next year the peppers will obviously come out they're all uh, I'll get them out as well and just give it all a complete complete clean do the lot clean the slabs and everything all up ready to uh, ready for yet another year um, one thing that I'm going to do as well I'll spin you around in a minute and show you some of the tomatoes and cucumbers that I've harvested. I mean we've had with these wires here, I've had cucumbers coming up and had them hanging off here and oh it's it's been a good year. Um but I'll show you, I'll spin you around and I'll show you what I've harvested. Well there we have it look. There you are some of the tomatoes. Yes, I know these need to ripen off a little but they'll go in the house and be done. Ripened off but there's loads of the little uh, little cherry and currant tomatoes cucumbers and there some of them will be taken to well family will have some of those a bit later on and uh, i might take a couple to work i know one or two people at work that'll have those but been it's been a really good year these are all swing and that's a variety that was new this year to Mr. Fothergill's. And uh, I'm chuffed to bits with that. That one is uh, a Telegraph Improved, I think. Yes, it is. And those are swing. 
and uh, I'm chuffed to bits with the way these have grown. I've ordered, um, as I say, it was new this year to Mr. Fothergills and new for next year. He's uh, done another cucumber. I think it's called Lily. Um, and I've, uh, I've put an order in for some of those. I've ordered the swing as well again. So uh, we should have a good harvest again next year. Uh, these uh, Velcro fasteners, they're all going to be washed off. They're all going to be um, put into a bowl of hot water with some bleach, give them a good clean. They're my secateurs that I've been cutting everything up. My canes that I've got here, they'll all be cleaned down as well. Um, and if I spin you round and take you back in here, the wire, all this wire that's on here, that's all going to be unravelled off here. Um, I've had it, obviously, for letting the cucumbers grow up, but that'll all come off and then that's going to be washed as well, all cleaned. Try and get everywhere as clean as we possibly can. So, um, I'm not going to bother showing you any more of this, of doing this in the other greenhouse. Can't see the point. And I'm showing you the same thing in a different greenhouse, that's all. So, uh, yeah, so 2019... 2019. 2020 that's uh, the end of the cucumbers and the tomatoes and just as a final note with regards to tidying up in the greenhouses yes you're getting bored with this now aren't you uh, now I've just brought you back into the green greenhouse because as you can see all being cleared that one I'm leaving because there's nicely ripening up there and the same with that plant there and they are both Bacardi so I want these to ripen up on both of these plants so that I can then have some seed for next year but the other little reason is with regards to peppers um, doing, doing really well these I'm not going to get out yet at all but these are doing really nicely and as you can see up the back there loads of flowers come in and loads loads of peppers and again ripening up nice some more down here nice chilli peppers these obviously these here uh, sweet peppers as is that I think that's colour spectrum yeah um, so I'm leaving them because they're they're coming on nicely full stop there's uh, there's a few flowers still on them so I'm gonna let them carry on but I've, uh, you got the, the idea with regards clearing everything down now it's all all cleared up and put to bed for another year well that's it for this one uh, I'm really really pleased I've uh, got the greenhouses sorted it took a took a it's taken a bit of doing but uh, we got there got everything all stripped out and all straightened up I've yet to wash them down I haven't I haven't done that process yet but I'll get and do that once I've moved all the the buckets out of the greenhouse I'll then give it a good or give them both a good washing down um, please like and comment subscribe uh, I, I really do enjoy receiving comments I enjoy reading them that's that's really good that is so stay safe look after yourselves look after each other and I'll see you in the next one thanks a lot Sure are a bit.